Welcome back to Disc Golfing Bowlers. This is a huge day. Everything changes from this day forward here at Disc Golfing Bowlers. We've had a lot of success the last few years with urethane, the pitch black and fast pitch uh, in particular. But with the new PDA rule, uh, effective January 6th, we can no longer use those balls. So instead, Storm has released the all-new IQ Tour 78U. This is the IQ Tour's Centripetal HD Core, um, unmodified in any way. But with the Control 78 urethane solid cover stock, this is a tweak of the pitch black cover made to conform to the PBA's new hardness rules. So we'll register 78 or higher on the durometer scale. It's an important release. Urethane's done a lot in the last couple of years. Uh, will we be able to continue to use it or will we need other options? Today we're gonna find out. We're gonna stack it up against the pitch black and even stack it up against the IQ and see how they compare. Let's take a look. All right, welcome back to Disc Golfing Bowlers. Uh, gotta say, I'm really intrigued by this particular review, knowing full well that when I grew up at the tail end of the urethane era, so I've thrown some of the original urethane balls from the 80s and 90s, um, new in box, <laughs> um, as I'm dating myself a little bit. Uh, but I've, I've had some success with pitch black, I've had some success with fast pitch. And so this is an important release for me, um, just to see we're gonna continue to have that same strategy on some of the medium length patterns, the flatter patterns. Um, uh, but first, let's do what we always do. Uh, this is a comparison ball, this is a pitch black. Uh, layout numbers are underneath, uh, four and five eighths by three by two, I believe is what we're looking at. Uh, I've thrown one shot, so might have a little bit of burning to do as we do with any urethane, but start right around 10. Good thing I burnt in. So when I'm talking about burning in a urethane ball. Um, first shot with any urethane ball tends to want to hook much more than every shot after it. Uh, one of the things that makes urethane what it is is that it doesn't absorb oil like resin. So on that first shot, you've got no oil on the surface, so it's going to hook the most of any shot it's going to hook that day. And then if you have a little bit of oil on top, it'll hook a little less and a little less, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go two and one off of that. Kind of drop it a little bit. I'll be honest, uh, I'm trying to work my way around the camera. I didn't put it in the perfect location for this video. But that's what you see. That's what urethane does. It wants to hook early. Um, you know, there are, there's at least one notable exception to that rule, but it wants to hook early, do most of its motion the first 20, 30 feet, and then just kind of lay off. And the advantage is when they're tough, that keeps you in play, keeps you around the pocket. It's another two and one. Pull that a little bit. And there's the disadvantage of most traditional urethane. If you get fast or you miss it into the oil, that's going to happen. It is not a ball that's going to give you help in the back end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move up the approach so I can slow down a little bit, just to let the urethane ball get set up and try to get behind it a little bit better than the last shot. And that is what you see out of urethane. I can go further left in this, it's not going to do much. It's not made to do much. As far as traditional urethane is concerned, this is about it. So this is another three, three and two. Let's see what happens if I try to bend it a little bit. Like you throw it slow enough, you can make it bend, and I can throw it slow enough. So I'm gonna go one and one. Still trying to get it to the dry. Missed it a little bit in. You can see I'm, I'm working it as best as I can. So another one and one. I missed that in, that's not gonna make it. Yep. That's why I don't advocate for urethane on house. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You miss, you miss into the oil, you got no help. My feet haven't gotten left of 20. If you've ever seen a review on this channel, you know at some point I end up near, near the ball return. This is not happening today. Not in a urethane review. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's everything I have. All right, so here's a, another comparison. This is the original, well, I don't wanna say the original. This is the IQ Tour edition, IQ Tour Solid. Uh, so I'm going to jump back into the track, and this is going to look resiny because, well, it is resin. Uh, 
I overthrew that. Man, that pushed a lot, actually. I'm going to slow that back down, see if I can get the ball into a roll. See, that gets it a dry. It wants to stand up. I'm going to jump in a little bit more. Notice I, I'm not trying to lean on this one. All right. Yeah, you know what? There's some push in there, which I might have created myself with the urethane. I'm going to throw one more. I'm going to try to step a little further in. I guess whatever we're bowling on, uh, mechanic earlier said it was 45 feet, and I told him I wasn't buying it, but it's, it's there. All right, here it is. This is the one everybody's been asking for. The IQ Tour 78U. We're gonna go back to about 10, see what it wants to do from there. At some point I may move the camera and go right of the 10 because your thing likes to be out there. Here's the first shot with the urethane. The old first shot with the urethane. Apparently even at 78 hardness, it's still, uh, it's still a thing. All right, let's do that again. See if the second shot teams down like you'd expect or I just got to jump in. The flare is silly right now by the way. Oh my. <laughs> okay well as the old expression goes once is a fluke twice is a trend. I'll, I'll jump in. All right a little further left. Three and two. Should start taming down soon I hope. I haven't said anything because I don't know what to make of that other than yikes. All right, three and two. And this stay on the right side of the head pin. I, I, I like that. My pitch black earlier from that spot, I had to slow down and make it get up the hill. This one, I've got no issues with that. All right, two and two. Oh, that's missed left. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. That's more like what should happen. Miss left, stays left. <laughs> or stay whatever, you know what I mean. So apparently I have to get this in a dry. It's almost like it was uh, a harder shell. Same spot with the feet. I'm gonna try to get it one or two right at the arrows. See if I can get it closer to five, six, seven down line. All right, that's, you get it to the dry, it's nice. If you start it in the dry, it's less so. Parallel back like two, two, two right. But I'm thinking he's telling me to parallel right because there's now more oil on the cover. Two and two back right. Try to make the ball driller happy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's more like what you'd expect. That actually was a really good motion. So this is one and one back right. And that's just not a zone that my pitch black likes, so that's good. All right, that'll do it for our review of the IQ Tour 78U, and I feel better. Uh, as somebody that probably leans on urethane more than I am comfortable doing. I think this is an adequate replacement. Um, maybe a little bit earlier, um, but for my money, if it continues um, as well as if not better than the pitch black, uh, seems to dig as much, maybe a little bit more so in the front, um, but I can work with that. I think I can work with the lower RG. Um, the ball seems to want to rev up more so I can get a little bit more continuity. Um, and it seemed very versatile, so I think this will be good. Uh, time will tell if we can use the uh, 78U and the variety of patterns that you can see on some of the other ones, but I think it'll be just fine. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to uh, give us a like, subscribe, uh, the bell for notifications, share this with your friends, leave a comment below, let us know what you think, uh, let me know what kind of questions you might have now that I've thrown this a little bit. 
Uh, we'll be coming back soon with a review of the all new 900 Global uh, Hybrid Symmetric, the Sublime. Till then, we'll see you next time.